In this topic, we will be discussing about precipitation and forms of precipitation. As a result of decrease of temperature in the lower layers of the atmosphere with increasing altitude, condensation of water particles takes place. Condensation, as you know, is the process by which the water vapor in the atmosphere gets converted into water droplets. As a result of the process of continuous condensation that goes on in the atmosphere, the condensed water particles slowly grows in size by the addition of the smaller particles of the water droplets with one another. And when the resistance of the air fails to hold them in the atmosphere against the force of gravity, it falls onto the earth's surface. So after the condensation of water vapor into water droplets, the release of the moisture from the atmosphere is known as precipitation. Or in other words, it can be said that the falling of the water particles from the atmosphere in any form to the earth's surface is called precipitation. This precipitation may take place in liquid or in solid form. So, precipitation can be in the form of rainfall, snowfall, sleet or in the form of hailstones. When the precipitation is in the form of water droplets, it is called rainfall. However, when the temperature is lower than 0 degree centigrade or below the freezing point, precipitation takes place in the form of fine flakes of snow, which is called snowfall. There are other forms of precipitation also, like sleet and hailstones. Sleet is frozen raindrops and refrozen melted snow water, which comes down to the earth's surface in the form of small pillars of ice. When a layer of air with a temperature above freezing point lies above a sub-freezing layer near the ground, precipitation takes place in the form of sleet. Raindrops, which falls from the warmer air above, passes through the cold air below. As a result, they solidify and reach the ground as small pellets of ice, which is not bigger than the raindrops from which they have been formed. This form of precipitation is called sleet. However, sometimes the raindrops after being released by the clouds, become solidified into small rounded solid piece of ice, which reaches the earth's surface in the form of small stones of snow, which are called hailstones. Hailstones are formed when raindrops are carried upward by the air current during the thunderstorm and reach extremely cold areas of the atmosphere where the raindrop freezes. Now addition of this freezing raindrop leads to formation of small stones of ice which is called hailstones. These hailstones grow by joining or colliding with liquid water drops which freeze onto the hailstone surface. These are the different forms of precipitation and these takes place in the form of liquid form or in solid form. Rainfall, snowfall, sleet and hailstones, these are the different forms of precipitation.